ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mafia 3. Now, in the previous episode, things didn't really quite go as planned. Get fucking out of here. No! No! So yeah, let's let's try that again this time. Let's show them how things are fucking done around here. Park our lovely car here. See what kind of- oh shit, we don't really have that much ammo. Okay, alright, so there we go. Let's go in here and fuck. Jesus Christ, fuck shit up. Yeah? Is that how we fucking do stuff here? Alright. Let's see. Okay, now if we, uh, you know- Yeah! Lovely start to the shit. Even though that didn't really do shite. There, there we go. That was fucking easy. Ah, there we go. Damage complete. That was fucking easy, bruh. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. That's the last time we'll have a trusty little sidearm here. Done told you that. And who is to shoot first? That lad. Fuck you, bro. Okay, there we go. What do we have around here? There's something on the map. I kind of just want to make sure. Oh, it's one of those wires happening. Yeah. We can do that. Oh shit, they're shooting. I don't know what they're shooting at, though. They're not shooting at me. Uh. Please help. Yes! Oh, wait. <laughs> Try to deploy it and then it just falls. Oh, hell no! Ow! Come here. Fuck you, bro. Okay. There we go! Also got a bit of ammo, so that's fucking lovely. Sure Fuck you! <laughs> you trying to jump the fucking fences and... Who the fuck do you think I am? Okay, fuck that. Ow! No! Don't you fucking even there. Oh! Sentry, yeah, look! No! No! Fuck you, bruh! Hehe! <laughs> All right, there we go. We uh, we completely overdid this. Uh, so let's go and talk with Donovan and see if we can get the racket boss out. And there we go. Let's just sit there, wait for Donovan. Yes. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. Oh. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. Yeah. Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between <laughs> Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, what? these guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After all I get right. something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Fine. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so back to the charge of this. Okay, quite uh why is there blood on your door? Oh well. Uh so yeah, there's there's quite a few people in there. Jesus. Uh we'll see what what we can do. Well ah uh, Remember that you've previously wiretapped the church and it's smack racket. What? Because if you've done this, you'll now have the option to kill the racket boss for some quick cash or recruit them for improved iron in the long- Well, I've already fucking- I already know that. Don't die. Like, legit, don't I already fucking know that? Didn't we learn that in the previous episode? Okay, so... What we can do here is, uh... Not to put Charlie in charge of the heroin, but he insisted. Said Just he one of you, yeah? His old man or some shit. Diddlers. Now look over here, bro. Shit. Huh? 
completely oblivious. <laughs> oh god, really? Okay. Uh, <laughs> fucking stupid ass retnicks. There you go. <laughs> All right. That was, that was fairly easy. And hello, come over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is pretty straightforward, so I think I'll just, uh, you know, speed this up a bit. Meet you with, with the racket boss, or like, somewhat close to him, anyway. Okay, so this is how the land is. Uh, none of them are looking at me, so I'll just be sneaking in here. Oh! That was close. But we did it. No, uh, oh. Oh God! Let's think about Thomas Lee after my old man. It's got a nice ring to it. This yeah. You don't get settled. My boy might wind up being named something else. Nah, I won't come. Okay, let's rush in. Oh God! Oh God! And is that it? That's it. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Okay, let's let's recruit him. You might live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good. Charlie. All right. Real good. Oh, yeah. Night, night. <laughs> All right. So I saw that since we put the um the listening device. I I've just fucking forgot what it was called. But since we put that in there. Um, instead of just 1,000 for recruiting him, we got 2,000, and if we just killed him on the spot, we would get, like, 1,000, I think. Um, so yeah, that's, that's fucking awesome. Let's assign to Cassandra, because we don't really have anyone else as of right now. <laughs> so let's just do that. Since and uh, the First Baptist Church, those Dixie heathens have been handled. Yes. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. You're welcome, girl. And, uh, yeah, so we'll- we'll have to see what happens next. There they come. There they go. All right. That's some hell of a fancy cars. Must admit, love the colors. <laughs> Please state your name for the record. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan. You understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you <laughs> further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. Oh. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe All right. for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. Damn, he's he's to the fucking point with those guys, man. Jesus. I heard him. Oh god. Stay the fuck down. Oh. 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 <laughs> so they completely god, fucking mass murdered this place, Mr. Clay. I won't <laughs> All right. Awesome. Uh, did we have some health thing? No, I'm already fucking full of it. Gunsmith, improved accuracy, increased accuracy of something. I'll have to read that in post-editing, but I bet you already read it, so that's good. So, let's uh, go talk to Cassandra. You in here, girl? Oh, God. Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Oh. <laughs> Hello. This man's name is Jesse. 
We were just having ourselves a little conversation about Richie Doucet. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she just grabbed me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucet? He's... He's out of the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was going to lay low until all right. he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Really? Hand me that knife. No, no, please. Oh, no, God. I ain't done nothing to y'all. Ah, he's please, gonna let him lose. My mom, my mom, my mom. Yeah. Go on, get. <laughs> Pick a one, do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. <laughs> back on uh, his mama. Yeah, exactly. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Don't worry, girl. It's all good. He needs to change his pants first because he fucking shite all over them. You've taken over the smack and the prostitution rackets, drawing Richie, Doset, and the Dixie Mafia out of their hole. Awesome! This is how you will go after Mokano by uncovering and seizing control of his criminal rackets, then confronting his lieutenant and K bus. However that's pronounced. After taking down his rackets, you'll be able to go after Mokano or Marcano himself. Go to, or go kill Richie Dosett and take control of the Hollow. Hell yeah! Let's fucking do it! And there we go, I guess we're going for a little bit of an amusement park trip here. Which is, uh, kind of flooded. What the fuck, what is... Why the hell is this flooded? Oh well, who cares? So it is... <laughs> I guess it's, it's kind of a... A run-down amusement park. For anything. Oh yeah, Fun Park. Baron Saturday's Fun Park. Or Baron Saturday's Fun Fun... Fuck that. I, I, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have here then. Hopefully we can, uh, uh... Hello? Okay, there we go. Awesome. Let's see what's going on. Find Richie. Oh, okay. Shit just went fucking down. I have a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work his yeah. shit out with Georgie. Huh? Come here. Just wanna you there. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid how they never Nobody fucking. To bring the hunt to no, you don't. Welcome to Baron Saturday's Fun Park. Uh, sure happy to have you with us today. Thank you. I don't think this is uh, too good. Ah, oh, shit. What, you didn't die? Okay, there we go. Now, the rest of them should come forward, yeah? Oh, if I could hit. There you go. That's how you fucking do it. Okay. Oh, that headshot, though. Anyone else? Can't really see from where they're shooting. Is there someone there? No, there's one there. Oh, oh, feels good, man. Is there someone over here? I keep feeling like I can hear someone. No, oh, there you are. Come here, then. Can't really. Did I get a hit on him? Can't. Oh, you can also hold your breath. I was fucking combating it. Don't ask me why, but I just saw this guy down here. I can't move. Shit. I only hit his shoulder. Must have hurt like a fucking bee, though. Ooh. Okay, four more bullets. Did I hit that guy up there? Doubt it. What the hell is these guys? Hello? Oh, it's so bad when they throw these things and then they just miss. Oh, God. Okay. 
That was not that accurate uh, as as I would have hoped because uh, we kind of spent quite a bit of ammo just fucking killing those lads. But it's alright, it's alright though. It's alright. Can we actually take this one? What kind of pistol is that? Oh, who, who really cares? Let's just go fucking with it and then fuck some shit up, yeah? So what's in there? Okay, some more sniper ammo. Whoa. Oh! What the hell? Okay. <laughs> let's just let's just keep on going, because this is taking a bit of time just luring around, not finding too much. It took a fucking while it did. You know we can work something out. All you gotta do is No, I don't wanna die. Yeah, no shit I did. You're fucking shooting me. We've been looking for you. <laughs> oh god, okay, okay. Let's just stay down for a tiny bit. Recover our little health here. Yeah, shoot. Are you serious? No, you fucking don't know. Okay. Oh god, no. There you go. No. Okay. Pistol time. That was so bad. I so got him though. It's so hard to fucking see anything. There we go. My nose is so fucking scratchy as well. Don't you get that sometimes where it's just, it feels like you have a hair, like, tickling your nose all the fucking time, but there's like literally nothing. There we go. Okay. Fucker! There we go, stay down, stay down. These guys really know to f how to fucking control the Thompson. Another fucking all full automatic shite. Because, fucking hell, they hit me all the fucking time. Alright. There we go. Come on, please tell me this is, like, just around the corner. Because this is getting a bit... You know, a bit long. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Oh, God. Alright, alright. That's nice. Where the hell are these guys at? Yes, I would hope so. Hello? Where the, f Where the fuck is these guys at? Come on! Where the hell do I need to go? Jesus Christ, he went a long way. Come on, then. Oh, shite. Okay, got that out of the way. Can't see shit, seriously. Oh, God. Okay, now I see people. Go. <laughs> oh, I fucking love some of these fucking sound effects that they have. Fuck off. Come on. Is he up there? Where the hell is this guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. Relax, bro. Don't you worry, I'm coming your way. Oh my god. Okay. Show your little pretty fucking face, would ya? Oh, really? There we go. There we go. Oh, what? What the hell? How the fuck do you sur Ow! Survive all the time! What the hell? Okay, uh, there we go! 
That was fucking odd. And still fucking knows, man. God. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Just track him out of there, nice and slowly. Take him to... Uh... You need, need to run hello? This dude, boy. You think you can come in here and steal my own without nobody noticing? I'm not uh, here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. Oh, yeah. I didn't have nothing to do with that! <sighs> I watched Woo! you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all George oh, and his yeah. old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, yep. No, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Oh. Please. Oh. Listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, that's so fucking brutal! Dude! When I saw what you just saw <laughs> hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. No, I mean, it's the fucking hell! The killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some grease ball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Yeah, but I can tell. Even Jesus. Then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in yep. psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. Damn right I am! Ah, <laughs> All right! That might have been a bit longer of an episode than usual, but I think it was well worth it uh, because we got a, no, we got an ending to this. So, as usual, if you like this video, smack the like button, share it with your friends, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Alright. What's uh, four finger got going on? This is a bit awkward. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. Okay. Well, uh, let's recruit him. My crew is your crew. Oh. Okay.